Chakla Maran. <coughs> Excuse me. Chakla Maran is the third part of me putting this information out there. I'm putting that information out there to let you know. Check, check your egos out the door. Because we as a people, as a melanin race, we're divided in so many different categories. We actually believe that our category, our information, depends on the category that you're in, the institution that you're in, that you have boxed yourself in, is greater than everyone else's. You actually believe this conception. I did tell y'all in part two, I'm gonna start off showing you different books. Here we go. Zen Tervan Illustrated Bible Dictionary. Look at that. Who is this? Is this Sumerian text? Hmm? Is that Babylonian text? But the only way you're gonna find out, get into the book and you read it. Body of Christ, Boldness, the ancient Mesopotamian book where products formed of inscribed tablets like this one in the 19th century. Huh? How I would know that if I didn't have this book? Do you got this book? Do you? To anyone you got this giant dictionary book? Because that's what we're looking at. The most accurate and comprehensive one volume Bible dictionary available. Do you possess this book? But your information is better. Do you have this book? Oh, it's too thin. Huh? The Kodak game is over. The document of the original ancient Egyptian African text and the later biblical perlucarized version. Evidence were never meant to see. Shaka almost. You got this book? Huh? Do you? Do you have this book? Because this book can help you identify the next book I'm going to show you. The King James Version. The Bible. Oh, I got the New World Translation and the NIV. I'm going to show you. Different books. Different organizations. Different kings. Different pharaohs. Different popes. But the information is similar to each other. This book will help explain this book showing you that the Egyptian were the first to have the information. That's what this book is about. And how this book was perdurized, changed, flipped over. But do you need to throw away this book? No, you don't. You use it for the information that's in here. So you get another book to cross-reference as well. The Zan, the Zan Farin Dictionary Book. If you really prepared to do that type of research. Oh. Dr. Ben, Jehovah, the chronology of the Bible. Similar to this one. But Dr. Ben did his book first. It's not the same concept, but similar theories. You understand? You see, 
What this book's gonna tell you, Dr. Ben's book, it gives you, it talks about Moses, Abraham, dates, huh? The names, different names they have for God. Ask yourself this question. Are all these versions, and you think yours is the correct one. You think your is the correct one, but you didn't try to identify and help break it down to all these people are melanin people. So why would you think that yours is better than theirs? Even the people who did the expedition, the archaeologist who went on the expedition, the original ones, they was executed. When they brought in the information and found out the truth about the civilization that they was excavating about. They started knowing that, wait a minute, these people, these people are really is special. So what you think the people that were in power who gave them money to do the archaeology discoveries, and first of all, why you, or why they, excuse me, digging up grave sites? What makes you want to dig up a grave site when you don't dig up your own? They dig up melanin dark people to find out the truth about our powers we possess. See, right now you go, what the hell is he talking about? You get these books. You start to find out. You start to find out different information. What does this have to do with Kemetic? A lot, because it all is in here. Egypt. They just changed the name. Huh? NIV. NIV. What this book has to do with this book? What does this book has to do with the New World's translation? Huh? You understand where I'm coming from? So we got the New World's translation. We got the Holy Bible. Is this Holy Bible more important than New World's translation? Which one gives more information when they both give you different words? the same information that's written in different grammar. You hear me clearly? Different grammar. You are fighting a silly battle. Huh? You fighting a silly, a silly battle. You talking about, oh, mine's is greater than yours. My book is greater than you. No, it's not. You let them play games with you. Or the question is, are you playing with yourself? Is your church better than his church? Is, is, is the church on 4th Street better than the church on 5th Street? But if you all read from the same Bible, you read from the same Bible, so how is yours better than his? Or hers? Or she's better than her? Or hers is better than his? This is the foolishness. Who's fugazi? Who's fake? Who's not real? You freak, yeah, excuse me. You all are punishing yourself for no bad reason. You call each other fake, and who's better? Sumerian is better than Kemetic. Kemetic is better than Babylonian. The Peru, who's fake? When you all got the same answers. The answer is this. Who 
is the unknown. You didn't see the unknown. You never met the unknown. But the unknown created the sun that's in the sky that gives us life. On this rock, Yo, I'm Chaka Lamon Ra. Hope you got something. It's gonna be a part four. I'm putting this information out there. As you tell me. Anyone y'all got this book? Huh? Anyone of you? Anyone you got the Holy Bible? King James? Oh, you see a lot of papers because I'm constantly doing um, research. So sorry if it looks ugly and beat up, okay? That's for all you people who think, oh, uh, this person is fake. No, I respect everybody. I don't care what level of education you on. If your information and the frequency that I'm feeling from you, I'm gonna watch you. I'm gonna study from you. I'm gonna wanna know, why do you think I got Dr. Ben's book? Why do you think I got Shaka almost book. Huh? Why you think I got the message to the black man in America? This is Islamic. So am I wrong? This got something to do with it. With the unk? Huh? No, it has nothing to do with it. Different symbols and different things for different civilization. But this book is formative. Is information we all are melanin people. Wake up! Part four. It's coming next. <laughs>